So we're here in mid-July 2016. The Lake Sherwood fire just started, which is just over the hill from us. We're on Thousand Oaks Boulevard right now. And this is a classic case where we've been, uh, planes have been coming in and dropping water. There's another chopper coming in right now. This is the classic case that people have been worried about recently where drones are coming in and interfering with firefighting aircraft. The concern here is that someone flies up a drone because we're right in the middle of town. Everybody has these tools, everybody has these platforms, and they're curious. There's another plane flying right now. Another, uh, it's a Ventura County uh, firefighting airplane. Um, uh, they're curious. It's in their backyard. It's in their, it's in their neighborhood. They just want to grab their drone and throw it up in the air. The problem is that causes concern amongst pilots that are both helicopter pilots, airplane pilots, and they're worried about these things striking the aircraft, causing problems. And so when um, firefighting officials get word that there's a drone in the air, when someone calls it in or someone sees something, they will oftentimes um, ground their aircraft for a, a brief period to make sure, or at least exclude the aircraft from the area, so they, they're sure that there's nothing um, uh, gonna obstruct and possibly cause an accident or a catastrophe with an aircraft. We're worried about that too. We don't want that to happen, but at the same time, there should be a way that um, we can, um, uh, people can use these platforms without endangering aircraft and without causing problems. So the short answer is people should not throw up their drones in the midst of a fire to get a better perspective, etc. However, there are news agencies and other folks that could gather useful information, indeed the fire departments themselves, with these units. The answer is really in these units having uh, different locator transponder beacons and notifying the correct authorities. We're not there yet. Right now we're still in the wild west of this, but but this is the problem. In places like Southern California where wildfires are common, happen right in our backyards, you're gonna have people wanting to fly these units, and that's the situation that we're left with right here in 2016.